Hi friends. Today we are going to draw a strawberry. Look at that strawberry. That strawberry's got a lot of personality and some great hair, I have to say. Those leaves make great hair for a strawberry. So to draw this strawberry, we only need, let's see, we only need three basic lines and shapes. An arc, an oval, and a line. Let's see how it fits together. Okay, friends. Now, as I say always, let's visualize where our strawberry is going to go. We wanna make sure we have enough room on the paper to fit our whole drawing. So imagine that our strawberry is going to go right about here on the paper. Don't start up here or down here. Okay, let's start in the middle and make sure we have enough space to create the whole drawing. All right, so let's start off with an arc. And the arc is going to start off right about here, I think, right there. And I'm just going to start here and come around to the bottom like that. And then over here, I'm gonna leave a big gap there because that's where all the leaves are gonna go. All right, or in our case, the hair of our character. And I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to have an arc come down this way. Okay, so now I have a little gap here and I did that on purpose because I want another arc to just come in here and join that. And I wanna smooth out that line, so I'm just going to turn my paper and smooth that out. Okay, and you can do a little trick like that too. See, I just made a thick black outline to smooth out that line. That's a tip, and that helps a lot when you need to smooth out a line. All right, next, we are going to create the arcs for the hair. Okay, which are also the leaves. So let's start over here and let's create an arc like this. And then we're gonna create an opposite arc starting at that tip here and it's going to go this way. And then we're gonna do uh, continue that arc and go the opposite way like this. So now you can see somewhat of a leaf, but let's have another arc start here and come up underneath and join to a point right there. So now that leaf is complete. And let's do another one right here. There's going to be a lot of arcs in this hair. And if any point during this video, you need to pause the video to catch up. Just pause the video, catch up at your own speed, and then join back in with us. Or you can watch the whole thing through once and then watch it again and follow along with the drawing. Sometimes it's good to do that. All right, so let's start with another arc here and then join another arc going the opposite way. And then I'm gonna use that, that same technique of doing an opposite arc to smooth this around. All right, now let's do another arc right about here. It comes up. And then we're gonna do a nice big arc that's gonna come down to the top of the strawberry right there. Next, we're gonna have another arc. That's going to be here and come down like that. Now just be patient because there's a lot of arcs and a lot of shapes. And I know that everyone draws at different speeds. So take your time and if you're not caught up, just pause the video and follow along, okay? Then you can join back in when you're all caught up. So let's do another arc that's gonna be here. Then we're gonna do the same opposite arc that goes up. See how it's two opposite arcs, but they're connected? One goes this way and one goes that way. And it looks like a very tall backwards S. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to add in another arc that starts down here and then goes all the way up to that point. You see that leaf, that big leaf there? We're gonna have another arc start here and go about halfway up to show the center of that leaf. Now underneath, we're gonna do another arc here. Comes up like that. 
and then another arc that's going to start halfway, right about there on that arc, and it's going to go like this up. Now we can start at this point and we're going to go back the other way. And then we're going to do that reverse arc again. So the arc goes this way and then it's going to go upside down like that. And go the other way. Now we're going to add one more leaf right here and then we're done the leaves. Okay, we're done the hair after that. All right, so let's start right about here. We're going to add in that arc and we're just going to bring that arc the opposite way down to that leaf. And then we're gonna continue. Actually, we're, we're just gonna put in a middle line there. Let's just add in an arc right here, just like that. Okay, so now we have all of the leaves for the hair. Next, let's place where the eyes are gonna go. I think right about here. And we're gonna make ovals for those, okay? Now this is important because the eyes, if you look at my original drawing here, the eyes are, they look like the seeds. They're in line with the seeds. So it's important where we put them. So let's put one here. You just have to make sure they're the right distance apart. Okay, and then another one about over here. Okay, so now we've got two eyes that kind of look like seeds. And we're going to use two arcs inside. And we can color those shapes in. Okay, so we have our two eyes and our hair and the shape of our body and our face all in one. Okay, next, let's add those seeds I was talking about. Okay, so now, actually, you know what, before we do the seeds, let's do the mouth because we wanna make sure we have the mouth in before we put the seeds. So right about here, we're gonna add an arc and then we're gonna add another arc below it that connects to that top arc. So now it looks like we have an open mouth and we can color the shape in. Okay, so now we're gonna add the seeds. I know, I've been building so much, you can't wait to draw these seeds. Okay, so think about our seeds starting over here and kind of curving around, okay? So when we place them, we're going to do a seed here, and then this will be the next one for the eye, and then imagine one where the mouth is. We won't put that one there, but we'll put another one down here. And then we're gonna add another one down here. So if you look at a strawberry real close, there's a lot more seeds than this, but we're not gonna draw that many. We're gonna just get the idea of it. The seeds start at the top and they kind of spiral down. It's really cool to look at up close. So look at a strawberry and you can see how the seeds grow on the strawberry. And it looks very organized when you look up close to it. So let's add in another row. Okay, so imagine another seed up here and then another one up here, and then another one over here, and that's another row. And then we'll add another up here, and then maybe we see a little bit of one right over here. So now we have a row up here, a second row here, a third row here. So the next row, the fourth row, is going to go here. So we'll add our oval, another oval, Another oval, here we go, another one, and then another one. And then we're gonna do one more row. We'll start down here, we'll add in oval, and an oval, and maybe we see a little bit of an oval there. It's just an arc. Okay, and there is the basic strawberry. Now we, we're gonna add in arms and legs because our strawberry is a character. Okay, so let's add in, we have an, a line that comes out of the strawberry and then goes back in and then comes back out. And then we can add in a little thumb there, a little line. Next, on this side, we're gonna have this arm outstretched. So we're gonna add, it's an arc. It's gonna go out like this. 
then we're gonna add in a line for the thumb, and then three lines for the fingers that are close together, okay? One, two, three. They look like one big thick line. Okay, now we're gonna add in two arcs for the legs. So one, and then two, and then we'll add a straight line outward, another straight line outward for the feet. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn my paper sideways and I'm just gonna add in a line for the ground. Move the cross like that. Great job following along, everybody. Look at our strawberry. Oh my goodness. Now what color are you gonna make your strawberry? I mean, what color is a strawberry, right? Are you gonna make it look like a normal strawberry? Or are you gonna make it look like a strawberry from your imagination? I mean, it is, it looks like a walking, talking strawberry. Maybe this strawberry is a different kind of strawberry. Maybe it's a brown strawberry or a pink strawberry or Maybe it's a glittery strawberry. Who knows? That's up to your imagination to decide, right? So make your color choices and finish your drawing. Now, if you follow to the end of this video, you can see the color choices that I made and you can make those color choices too if you want, or you can use your imagination and come up with your own, okay? And thank you so much for following along. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, smash that like button because every like and every subscriber helps me create more videos for you. More drawing lessons and more drawing fun. Thanks so much for following along with me today. I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D-R-A-W with M-R-M-I-K-E.